Uh, my name is uh, Milan Antonijevic. Uh, I'm a director of Lawyers Committee for Human Rights UCOM, uh, NGO working within Serbia for 15 years on uh, providing fee legal aid and on advocacy issues uh, related to uh, various human rights violations, among others, of course, the LGBT issues as uh, a burning issue in Serbia. Uh, well, uh, where, where to start uh, when you describe uh, the situation in the Serbia is just that you can make a parallel within it and, and uh, make a parallel with the region. Uh, where uh, of Western Balkans uh, problems are similar and uh, I believe that the groups that are violating human rights and LGBT issues uh, are, are uh, common to, to the region. So basically the situation in Serbia is that uh, we have uh, pretty much uh, everything related to, to legal framework, um, all the things that are asked uh, by the EU countries and the in internal pressure that we make uh, made Serbia one of the countries with, with a quite a good legal framework. What we miss, and this is I think um, the most important, is the implementation of those standards, um, law on anti-discrimination and, and the other issues that uh, really would help LGBT community to have a decent and uh, 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 decent life and uh, to really use all of the freedoms that are enacted in the Constitution and in, in uh, the other acts. Related to that, we are really very active on, on uh, uh, supporting uh, 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 combating uh, hate crime in, in Serbia. We finally got the law at the end of 2012 and uh, quite a lot of incidents that are happening uh, within the LGBT community and the attacks that are being coordinated by some, some groups, right-wing organizations, then uh, football hooliganism and the others uh, now can, can come to an end because of the, the law that's passed. And we hope that we will finally make the prosecutor's office use their use those um, arguments and uh, start uh, cases uh, for uh, clear hate crime, crime issues. We had in the past uh, represented victims of hate crime, but we didn't have the, the legislation for it. So it was really lowered by the prosecutor's office to, to a bit lower level. So it was an uh, assault, not really an attempt of murder or any, any other issue that was really, really happening. And uh, because of the LGBT uh, 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 component uh, attached to, to the attack. So that's basically where we are, where we are now. It's uh, really, really uh, picture that needs to be adjusted. Uh, there are quite a lot of pieces missing in it. Uh, and I believe that we miss uh, the most uh, is, is the, the words of our politicians and the decision makers within Serbia. They're pretty shy on opening the issue of LGBT uh, persons and their problems. Uh, and they think about uh, losing voters. You're losing. Uh, uh, in Serbia, if you're not speaking about LGBT issues, you're uh, losing uh, faith of, of those, those uh, persons. Uh, they, they're pretty desperate. They're, they don't feel uh, to have support in Serbia. And I believe that uh, it is more important than a few thousand voters you can lose if you speak openly about LGBT issues. So that's where we are trying to push them to have clear stand on, on those issues. All the politicians should really be supportive to, to uh, helping citizens of Serbia really um, uh, have all the rights that are enshrined in the, in the constitution. And that's where we are, we are trying, trying to push them to be really active. And um, I hope we will have uh, a bit of support, uh, both international support and inner support of, of the community in order to really make them act appropriately and uh, to be active citizens. Uh, on the other side, Serbia is quite, uh, uh, problematic with the, the issue of pride. Freedom of assembly is something that's not guaranteed related to LGBT uh, community and uh, it is very hard to make atmosphere in which LGBT pride would, uh, would uh, pass without uh, major problems. We had a pretty successful one in 2010 with the uh, vast police protection and uh, up after that uh, the situation deteriorated and uh, for two years in a row, uh, police uh, banned the pride because of the uh, lack of uh, security um, and uh, other security issues. They are not able to provide a peaceful assembly. And for that reason, they, they banned the pride for two years. Now we will see what will happen at the end of uh, 2013. Would it be really uh, a bit more um, active and uh, police and, and other state uh, uh, institutions to provide freedom of assembly for everybody, including LGBT persons.